Hey, Alan Shenworth here. I wanted to show my new prospecting tool, the Golden Retriever Dry Washer. It's a manual, highly portable dry washer that I can take with me when I'm out prospecting in the desert areas. Uh, neat little machine. It was actually invented by my mining partner, Dave Kuypers, and he's now manufacturing these. Um, if you look on top, it's got a nice little screen so we can screen out any of the rocks. After you put in a shovel full of material, get the rocks out, we can pull that aside. All the fines will fall through and settle in here. So this dry washer has some really deep riffles. Uh, these are about an inch and an eighth deep. And uh, once you get out here and start to shake it, that gold will drop down into these pockets and it won't go anywhere. Now you noticed it was really noisy. That's the neat thing about this. Inside of these riffles, there's actually a layer of bearings. And as we look at side to side, or even up and down, these bearings will jar against the side walls and send a small shockwave through the material and settle the gold. Works really well and will capture even fine gold. Um, for the deserts, this is a really great prospecting tool. If there's a small area you want to sample, you don't want to go set up your dry washer and, and the whole production thing, or if you've got an area you need to pack into, just nothing better than this golden retriever. I'll turn it right away so you can see the label. Nothing better than this golden retriever. Um, it breaks down. You can actually put it into a backpack, pack it wherever you want. And, you know, I can run through a five gallon bucket of material in a couple of minutes and end up with two, maybe three cups of processed material that I can then carry somewhere to. Uh, wash out in a pan, maybe back to camp or, or wherever I've got the water. So it allows me to sample fairly decent volumes of material, get a realistic idea of what's there in a, in a highly portable way. So we really like this. Um, it is a lot of work. You'll find out as you get the swing in it, especially when it's loaded, it, it takes a lot of energy to keep this going. Um, you want to keep your back straight because if you're hunched over swinging it, it does, it will make your, your back sore. Um, and if it's not loud, you know you're not doing it right. Uh, it can be, it can be pretty loud when you're, when you're using it. But we really do like it and we think it's gonna be a great prospecting tool as we go out and try and sample different areas. All right, this this right here, that's Dave. He's the inventor of this golden retriever dry washer. And With my help of Alan, of course. And what's your name? I forgot your name. Matt. Fred, Fred Ziffel. And Fred Ziffel, <laughs> otherwise known as Matt, is here to help us today. And this is both their first time on this claim even though technically Dave is one of the owners. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> I pay the fees. <laughs> I did all the, I did all the legwork. Anyway, we'll pack all this stuff down. I'm going to use my regular dry washer just to move the overburden. All right, here it is. Golden Retriever. Got a nice little grizzly screen on top of it. Some deep set riffles. And uh, it's even got some nice bearing weights inside it to help give it some uh, kick when you're shaking out the gravel. Gives it a nice jarring action, helps drop the gold. We're gonna give it a try. See if we can find some gold today on our claims up here. Uh, we got nice chunky gold, so if there is any, this should catch it. Um, let's go see what we can find.
really all you got left, you know, and you can do a bucket and have a cup full of material. I usually just keep going, you know, until I get a full bucket sample. All right, so I just finished uh, initial run. I took about 20, 30 minutes and just cleaned up all the loose sand that's right on top of the bedrock. Uh, ran it through the dry washer really quick. I've got one pan of concentrates. You can see there's quite a bit of black sand in there, all, all through there. All right, we're getting ready to use our golden retriever, you know, hand-powered dry washer. Um, we, we cleaned all the overburden off with the, the dry washer behind me, and we're down to where the gold typically sits. It's, it's actually in and on bedrock. And uh, this bedrock looks pretty good. We've got some nice open cracks here and here, some cracks here. Same with this stuff. I think it'll hold some nice gold. And uh, I've been just kind of sweeping this material into piles so that it's easy to pick up the shovel. It also kind of cleans in the cracks and brings everything out where I can get it. So we will uh, shovel that up, put it in our dry washer, and see what we can get. That's probably plenty. Yeah, you gotta can't put too much in there. It is a sampling machine. Like I say, if that bigger version that you can put on tripods. Over here, so you don't fill in a hole. So, no nuggets. There's everything that didn't go through the screen. <laughs> Always do a nugget check. A little more back and forth just to clear it. Then up and down. You say up and down? Yep. Yeah. That settles the gold? Yep. That's it. Then you just swing it, swing the stuff out. You go big swings. Bigger. That clears all that light stuff off. It helps to have the inventor with you when you're <laughs> learning how to use this. Alright, so we've got a couple cups of material left. We'll set her down and refill it. That goes pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, you can uh, be real aggressive with it, Alan. Don't worry about losing anything. In fact, the more I think, the more aggressive you are with it, the better it catches. And like I said, I've uh, I put gold on top of my material, and I haven't lost it. So. the screen so they can see the action. Right. Quick up and down. Now, really I think the up and down is what drops the gold. Okay. More than the side to side. Make sure and do that first. Yeah. That way it gets in the groove before I swing it side to side. Yep. Yeah, and there's no rocks in there. No. I don't I I don't get why that action does that, but it doesn't the rocks float up. And the heavies drop down. Right, let's break up this bedrock and we'll throw a little bit in there.
a lot less material. Yeah. There it is, a lesson from the master. <laughs> Apparently I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> no. Alright, let's no, see if we can get some like more material. Pan. Put it back Once, together. It's just like working with a pan. I mean, we get newbies and they're so afraid they're going to lose that little piece of gold. But when you get old like us, 20 years under your belt, <laughs> you just pound it. Cause you're not gonna lose anything. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> you're, gonna break, you're gonna break your shovel. <laughs> Brand new shovel. <laughs> yeah, I saw First that. First day I'm using it because I broke mine last time I was here. <laughs> but Ames makes a good one. We'll do a free promo for it. All right, there you Locking. go. All right, let's try this. Well, more, more violent. More violent. Right. Give us some shaky, shaky. Take that screen off so you're not... Tearing those rocks. No nuggets. Take it first. Up and down. Hard. Side to side hard. And don't lean over, you could hurt your back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and then big swings, big swings. Oh, you forgot it. the big swings. Get all the light, big. Get all that light stuff off. All right, we just made the, the big hike back up to the truck where the water is. We'll dump this out into our pen. We'll split it in two, there's a lot of material here. Oh really, you must not have shook it enough. This is, this is left over from your last one. All right. there you do get a lot more fines and sand than you do with a dry washer but it pans down pretty quick because there's no no or not many rocks in it. Sand. That's a good thing. Let's see if there's any gold. Some lead. I caught the lead, that's good. There's a piece of gold, a little flake. Alright, All right, so in the first half we got one flake. Everything together. 
So quite a bit of black sand. I'm not expecting a ton of gold because we only worked maybe a square foot of bedrock. Two oh, I see. Maybe. I think you just washed some bigger yeah. ones down, yeah. They were floating on that black sand. That's a piece of gold. Nice little flake. Yeah. Can get that in the camera? Yep, I think so. Okay, got it. That's not too bad for first time running the dry washer. Only there for 20, 30 minutes, and you only worked about that much bedrock. Black sand out here is crazy. It's a lot less. There's the lead again. And there's a spot of gold. Another one. Tell you what, if it catches the lead, it's going to catch the gold. And there's the bigger one. All right. Very cool. Yeah, there it is. There's the gold. It's not too bad for the little bit we worked. So we'll definitely get back down there and do some more digging. Might be a good day. All right, uh, let me take off my glasses. We're gonna take a walk down on this claim. Uh, we got a claim jumper down here working below us. Uh, we met him. Uh, we actually did tell him that uh, welcome to stick around. He had a kid working with him, so we told him as long as he uh, showed us what he got, he was welcome to stay for the day. But, uh, we're really not happy that he came up here, jumped our claim, ignored our claim signs, and uh, feels like he can just go anywhere, do anything, because once upon a time, 30 years ago, he knew the guy that had the claim here. Uh, but uh, we're going to walk down and see what he's getting. Uh, might be worth jumping in his hole when he leaves. There he is. Old guy with his grandkid, got this nice buggy. If you got claims in the area, you might want to watch out for him. You might uh, see him again. But uh, we did see what he was doing and how he was working. We don't figure the way he's working this, he's going to get too much. But, uh, we are curious to see what he's getting. We had some claim jumpers earlier. Let me show you what they're getting. And this is just a handful of material from their bucket. They're getting some nice sized pieces in here. That's not even the biggest one. Gotta love claim jumpers. Then the guy had the gall <laughs> to want to have permission to go on the claim anytime he wanted. That's not happening. There's one more in here somewhere that I lost. It's pretty good sized. There's another one. There it is. Good to go. Hmm. So 
actually a picker. Nice little picker. And uh, this is just a handful of material from his bucket that uh, he was good enough to let us have. <laughs> if he wouldn't have had his grandson with him, he would have been gone in a minute. So uh, I'm actually going to finish up the hole I was in since I already worked at the bedrock. I'll sweep it up and clean it. But then we're going to be moving into the main wash where he was working and uh, see if we can get similar gold to what we're seeing here. Uh, rumor has it that once upon a time there was a big pocket of gold found there, like multi-ounce pocket. And uh, this is what's left from around the edges of that. So we're going to go dig and see if there's a little bit more. Um, this is better gold than I've been getting over in the other gulch. So we'll move and, and get some get some gold. Probably spend most of tomorrow in a new location. I took the tailings and ran them through my regular dry washer just to see if we're missing much. I don't think we'll find much in here, but we'll see. Oh boy, yep, we did. We lost a little nugget. Didn't settle it properly. Now I have a question. Why would that have been a, one was a nugget, one was a picker. To me, they were the same size. Um, a picker is just a small nugget. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we had some interesting results. I was getting fine gold in here. I, was, I pulled out six or seven pieces of fine gold in the last run. I only missed two pieces. Unfortunately, when I re-ran the stuff with my regular dry washer, um, the two pieces that I did miss were the two biggest pieces. And um, looking at what I did and what Dave told me earlier suggests I probably overloaded this and probably lost those two chunky pieces, the two little nuggets, uh, before I even got to shaking. You know, I know it was heaped here in the middle and actually spilling over both sides. And I've actually got to get it some good shaking action to settle it down into these grooves. These grooves are as much as I think an inch and a quarter, inch and a half deep. Just an inch and a half on one side, inch and a quarter on the other. We're not going to have gold climb up and out of this once it gets down there. So I'm going to do some more testing with this. But it looks like I'm probably going to have to put just a little bit less material in it when I'm initially starting it so that it doesn't spill out before I get going. Just to note, there, there are several different sizes of these, and this is the smaller size. Dave actually has a bigger one that's about, I don't know, 30% larger, and he can actually put a lot of material in it. Uh, without overloading it. Um, we'll give this a try. We like the results. Um, as far as a sampling unit, this thing is fantastic. Um, it's portable. I don't need a lot of setup in terms of dry washers and motors and hoses. Um, this and a shovel is all I need. I can hike off down the canyon, uh, up on a river terrace to test it for half an hour. All the gold that stays here on the bottom, you can run it for even an hour or two. And as long as you're not in really heavy black sand, you can just, just leave it in here, keep sampling. And uh, a pretty good sampling unit. For production, you're still better off with a standard dry washer. You can set it up and just shovel, and the motor takes care of all the work. It is a lot of work shaking this back and forth. It does get kind of heavy. This is about 10 pounds. And that's empty. Once you've got a couple shovels worth of dirt in here, you're getting up to 20, 30 pounds worth of material. So it can get heavy. But all in all, it is a great little unit. 
portable, easy, relatively efficient. Be careful not to overload it or you will lose the gold out the sides before you get it set up. So um, we can show you what we've got for the day. Here's what we got today. And this includes what I got with my dry washer, what I got with the handheld unit, and what our uh, local claim jumper donated to our cause uh, all in here. So not a bad day. There is some nice chunky gold up here. A couple of small nuggets. This is the one I just found. That's the one that the, the other guy donated to us. I will say um, the, the claim jumper that donated this gold, he did go home with 90% of his, his material. For now, we're going to pack her up and head out. Uh, the sun will be going down here in probably half an hour. So we're going to get loaded up and, and head home. But hopefully we'll see you down the trail.